Hello and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 on Somerset Farms. We've still got a little bit of work we need to get done today. Um, the field 39 could do with a coat of... I believe it's slurry. Um, give me a minute. I checked this at the end of the last episode. We've got 16,000 litres of slurry. 39. Apparently it takes 11. So the, in theory, there is technically enough in there. I'm, do you know something? I might this year just leave it and do it as solid fertilizer. Just until, um, just until we get more built up. Our issue is we still don't have many cows, but we haven't got the money to spend bringing a lot of cows in. Although, I must admit, the meat cows aren't really doing anything for me anymore. I'm wondering if we should sell the meat cows and just bring in more milk cows. One, we get more milk, we get slurry, we get straw. Um, we would make a bit of money selling these meat cows. I'm going to call them meat cows because, like I say, it's just the easiest way for me to... Yeah, that's actually not a bad price. Three and a half thousand times four. Then we've got two thousand for two. And then 800, no, we didn't even pay for anything for them. They're just, we're just babies. My idea still is I'd like to uh, bring in meat cows in a separate pen. Where I can literally just feed them grass. Um, but yeah, for now, guys, I'm I'm just going to leave that for now. Um, I do, like I say, we need to get into August. August is going to be a very busy month because we're going to have two fields to contract. Uh, we're going to have two fields to harvest, sorry. And we need to get Field 39 planted straight away. And I personally would prefer to get Field 39 planted straight away. Um, because we have to also get two coats of fertilizer on it as well. And yeah, I, I would much prefer to do that. We've lost quite a bit of money there. Uh, right, give me one second. We're just going to go up to the sheep pen. Because we're going to move this wool out of the way. We've got weeds, we've got weeds growing. I was gonna, I was gonna plow everything, but I, I don't know. I just, I just feel like that's not a good thing at the moment. Uh, right, jump back to the farm. <coughs> Sorry, guys. If I, if I'm talking and all of a sudden I go quiet, it's usually a good chance to have muted to try and stop me coughing down everybody's ears. Like I say, this this man flu is proper taking hold. It's uh, struggling to shift it at the moment. Yeah, that's why we lost more money because we still got we still got that thing. Um, right. Anyway, what did I say we had to do? Obviously, we got to do thirty nine. We got to plant in thirty nine. We need to grow in there. And we need to grow in there. Nice. Ah, oh, crap. We one two. No, we've got four fields to do. We've got four fields to do. I messed up. We still had yeah thirty four needed doing yesterday. Oh, I've really I've really messed up here. Ah, oh, bugger, I've messed up. I've, I've, I have actually messed up here. Um, so what do we do? We've got 24 needs doing, 34, 33, and 12. Oh my god, this is, this is going to take a few days. Oh, and the rain's coming as well. Please go away, rain. Um, right, so I'll tell you what I think is going to be the best thing to do. I think we'll go and start a harvest now. We'll wait till the rain comes. We'll do the canola while it rains. Uh, you know what I mean? We'll plant the canola while it rains. I think that's the best thing I can kind of do at the moment. Um, yeah. You never know what will get harvested in time. Before the rain comes. Get down here. It'll be our first harvest on this new field as well to our, our left. We are going to make some massive money. It's just unfortunately going to be in January. Um, I also know lately the episodes have been quite long. Um, like I said, I normally try and aim for like 25 to 35 minutes at the, the most. And they've been well into the 40s. The problem is I don't really want to time lapse harvesting, guys. It's, it, it's our field. We time lapse the contracts. You know what I mean? It's... We time lapse everything we do. <laughs> yes. Yeah, 
we end up with nothing to do. Nine minutes into the day already. We've been at work nine minutes and we've only just arrived at the field. We've done absolutely nothing nine minutes. Let's try and have this field completed for, I don't know, half past six, seven o'clock. It could be a pretty good work time. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have wheat come out of this field, I think it is. Again, more straw guys, more straw. Nobody said anything about possibly getting the um, the straw business. So I was hoping someone might have been like, yeah, get it. No, don't get it. Do you know what I mean? Um. <coughs> yeah, I think, I think we might just get a bank loan and get it. It's looking good up here. I can't believe it's 14% full already. We've hardly done anything. The wheat has yielded really, really, really well. I am so pleased with that. Alright, that corner is a little bit too much. Just got to wait for that. Ah. I was waiting for the uh, straw to stop and then I carried on moving it's gone all in my bush. <laughs> oh god, Matt, get your mind out the gutter. But anyway, as you can see, we've got loads and loads to be cracking on with over the next few episodes. Um, I could do with really finding out when that range due. It's going to be a... It's going to decide on when we... When we... Uh, put the canola in the field we can't harvest in the rain ideally you could probably not supposed to uh, plant in the rain either but this game lets me and it gives me something to do in the rain so we shall do it I genuinely can't get over how many fields there is to do Yeah, I forgot this field needed. We could have done this field today in, well, in July. It would have made more sense to have done this field in July. Kind of feel bad now. Kind of screwed myself over just a little bit. Because it was still only three o'clock, wasn't it, in July when we were like, oh, you know, let's jump into August. I could have harvested this. Even if all I did was harvest it, I could have just harvested this field. This is kind of wasting uh, time and think about it. The later we get the fields harvested, the later we get them planted. We are, we are on a time scale for getting planted. We need to get, you know, mulched and seeded and, you know, every, everything we need to do. We, we don't know, some, some might even need um, ploughing again. Ideally, I wanted to plough every field, but I'm not. I don't think we're going to get really much time this, this this year. So if we just crack on with the harvest, we'll get the straw off the ground. Um, yeah. Need to get the trailer up here as well. Also need to start cleaning our equipment as well guys because um, yeah uh, the dirt contributes to your machinery breaking quicker and we are we have some really dirty equipment and we do have some machines that break really really easily so yeah we need to uh, I don't know how true it I've, I've seen other youtubers and I've seen streamers that I watch you know they keep going on about it you know, like I say, if I get time I do watch other people and um, yeah just they're like oh you know if you if you keep your vehicles clean and all your equipment clean they don't break as quickly it's like classed under general maintenance or something i presume either way not 100 percent sure i've seen several people mention that now never seen an actual video on a test though but 
would be interesting. It would be interesting to know, I suppose, for sure. Yeah. If it's true, though, it kind of makes a bit of sense, to be honest. I know fine well, like, if you don't wash a car and all the dirt and the grime and the salt eats away your paint work, then causes rust. Then obviously it's a big repair bill to, uh, <coughs> it's a big repair bill in it to uh, fix the rust. And let's be fair, we all know if you drive a car and your car gets rust, it's basically got a car canter. Rust is a horrible thing to get rid of. It's not exactly impossible, but, you know, it's a nightmare. I am one of these people, I've owned many Fords over the years, so I've had my fair share of rust. I'm just blessed enough to be in a position now where I get a new car every three years. Even though my warranty's for seven, I still get a new car every three years. Ninety-seven. Nice. Yeah, that first corner was a little bit of a tight one. Um, hopefully, we can get all the straw out of that corner. Leave that running for a second. Nope, I need I need that tractor. No, we don't want to attach the uh, trina. I think I maybe made a mistake, you know, with the um, with the straw trailer. You know, the forage wagon. Um, I know there's a mod out there that's gives you like a forage connection, you know, like a pickup. Um, it's a lot more than that trailer, but it means we could have used, for example, this trailer. So we could have moved more straw at once. Yeah, I think we kind of, maybe we'll, if we get enough money before, well, we'll buy the chicken feed. Chicken field, not feed. We'll buy the chicken field first, because I'm hoping that it holds more food than our actual chicken, uh, our chicken coop. A chicken coop only holds like two months worth of feed. Uh, maybe we'll, uh, we'll look at getting rid of that trailer and uh, it's like a for forage pickup, basically. I think it's about seventy-five thousand pound to buy, but obviously, um, yeah, we can use our own trailer. It works on grass, hay. Dilated, it works on anything you can pick up, basically. And like I say, we do have a lot bigger trailer. Right, there we go. Yeah, got, got to really, got to really work over the next episode or two. Got loads and loads and loads of work to do. A lot more work than I planned. I can't get over there was three fields ready today. One, two, three. I only calculated two. Then again, field 24, I always forget about field 24. Always forget about it. It's like I just forget we even own it. Um, right, but what do we have planted? We've got... Right, wheat is 24. Oh, I could do with doing field 24 as well. You know, like now. Just while they like the wheat in the trailer. Um, yeah, that's going to be alright. 
29. Oh no, we've already done 29. Uh, 12 is. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I know where I'm at now. I know where I'm at. Yeah, field 24 would have been nice to have been done now. Just saves emptying the trailer to put more wheat back in it. But I want to do the fields while I'm here. I want to try and get this field harvested today. And I want to really crack on with that one. Like I say, we are really. Really pushed for time, especially if the rain comes. Feeling a little bit uh, too much to do. Yeah, but. Back to the harvest, it's uh, it's a busy season. Um, don't forget though guys, tomorrow I, well to be fair, I will be, well I will be recording Attingham Park tomorrow. Um, by the time you get this, I'll probably be already in the Discord chat organising with the uh, with flow what we're doing in that episode. Even though we kind of already know what we're doing, we just like to refresh our minds. Um, but yeah, like I say, if anyone that is interested in joining the Attingham series, like I say, all you got to do, be in the Discord. Uh, obviously, play on PC as well. That is a must. Like I say, if anybody wants me to... Right. There we go. That came a lot earlier than I thought. A lot, lot earlier. But we'll we'll go crack on with some uh, canola planting. I've, I've got no. I literally have no choice. I have to plant canola now. <coughs> well, good old farming at our field. Oh, this is going to be a hectic day. Can't get over how far away my uh, my cedar is. To be honest, interesting fact. Where's my cedar? <laughs> Where's my cedar? Let's have a look in the shop. <gasps> Ooh, this is what I was talking about. For just small, it's not worth thirty thousand pounds. I'm afraid. Only old 15. That looks pretty cool. Little John Deere. Like I say, I'm not a big fan of John Deere colours, but... Where's my cedar? Where's my bloody cedar? There she is. Why didn't I see that coming down the road? Right, let me get that one picked up there. Yeah, brakes just didn't seem to work very well there. I'm hoping there's enough seed in this. Uh, yeah, I think there'll be enough seed in here to get canola in the ground. Nah. Um. There we go, canola. Yeah, I'll, I'll put the front on this time because, like I say, I could do with a bit of seed. A bit of extra seed. <coughs> By the time I get up there, it's going to stop bloody raining. There is going to be loads and loads of contracts to do. Like I say, contracts are not a priority at the moment. But it would be nice to do a few. We could really do with some money. Oops, a 
great thunderstorm, isn't it? Jeez. Right. But remember, we'll need to roll this field as well. We've got so much to do when you're prepping a field. Absolutely so much work to do. Being a bit of an idiot, just deciding to. My dog is eating its own foot to the point where it makes itself whinge because it's bitten its own foot too hard. That 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 is my farm dog. That is my dog. It's bitten. Oh crap! I've kind of uh, chewed over the grass there a little bit. Never mind. Um, I didn't even know that was possible. I must admit, this this tractor, I wouldn't say this tractor's like the nicest thing ever in the world to drive. Um, but it it does what we need it to. So that's I think that's the main thing. Um, let me just get rid of all that there, because I, I, I don't need that like that. It's just going to ruin it. But yeah, it, it's got a bit of horsepower. I know Flo loves driving it on. Uh, I like I say, it's not that it's a bad tractor. It's just... I don't know. It's just one of them things. It, it's It's got its use. It's got its place. I think once we get like a massive amount of money, I think we wouldn't need anything like this. I am tempted about that John Deere, to be honest. I'm even tempted for a bank loan. Third tractor means we can do more work, even if it means hiring a worker. Like, for example, when I finish sowing this seed, we could have the John Deere with the... Uh, with the roller on, for example. Do you know what I mean? Right, I have just had a message from Mr. Floor. It looks like Attingham may be recorded this Friday instead. So we'll check with him later on. But yeah, and I do like to try and record Attingham on a Thursday because it's ready for a Friday. I might even do an episode on my own. Um, I know it's a co-op gameplay, but I kind of don't like changing the days. I don't mind doing it like a day early. Because I know sometimes he, you know, he gets super busy, but a day late means it's going to be a Saturday release. I might do I might do a double episode then this week because I there is a bit of farm work to do I'm not gonna lie there is some farm work to do on Attingham Park um, but we are a little bit low on money as well so I could always just do a contract I could change the time to one times so again we like to play on three to five times on Attingham Park so we're not stuck but I could do a contract just so Pro's not missing a whole day on the series that might be worth it yeah, I might, I might do some like that. Like I say, I love playing Attingham Park. Um, but I've really, really enjoyed playing this series. This series is... It, it did get a little bit slow when we lowered the time. Like I say, we're not lowering the time now. We'll, we'll, we'll play it three times. Simple as that. Like I say, we'll pr try and prepare as many fields as possible. If we can't get any fields prepped in time, then they'll have to have spring barley. It's simple as that. Or spring wheat or spring oat or what, whatever the options are. We do have two planting seasons, but I would like to try and get some winter, some winter barley in the ground this year, just because it's something, you know, somewhere else. Did we, you know, we, we didn't plant winter stuff last year. I'm kind of feeling really eh, because I haven't finished that harvest and I've done like bits of two jobs and this episode's going to finish and I'm probably still not going to finish either of them. But I'm just like, ah, I can't do nothing about the rain. At least I have a job to do in the rain. I want to buy a field to bring in some grapes, to be honest. I've only done I've only ever done grapes once. Um, although I'm I'm thinking maybe of having a grape series. Like you know where we we do have fields but we're more grape orientated. Because we don't really do grapes.
Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Something like that. Obviously, we'd have to grow some kind of wheat and barley for the chickens, and we'd have to have a grass field with the sheep and stuff. So yeah, but you know, imagine if we have like a a grape farm. I'd have to find a map with that to do it on. The only downside for something like that is I think we'd have to own at least a couple of fields worth of vineyards first, otherwise we wouldn't have the money to do it. Should look on the weather actually, find out when this rain's gonna stop. It might not be any time soon. This could this could actually ruin our August. If that rains all day, we are screwed. Like to the point where we are screwed. Although I've got two fields ready. So we can always go and uh, we can always go plant something in the uh, in the other field. It's not exactly the plan I had today. Yes, I wanted to get canola planted in August. I just didn't want to do it this morning. Like now, I, I wanted to get um, I wanted to get that field harvested. I wanted to harvest two fields today. That was my main goal for this episode: was to harvest two fields. And then the weather came along. Typical British weather. You'd think August would be nice and dry and sunny. And then it just rains. And then September will be glorious. The kids have gone back to school. And it's the warmest weather you've ever seen. That's what it's like where I live. Honestly, September's usually warmer and drier than uh, August where I live. Always is. Always get nice weather in September. Don't get me wrong, you always feel the temperature does drop a little bit. Because obviously it's September, but you do get some nice glorious sunshine in September. The joys of living along the uh, coast up north. That's one canola field pretty much done. I'm not really sure if there's anything else. Well, I know fine well we can plant wheat or barley, so we can get something else planted in our big field, so... The problem is now we've done this, we need to roll it this month. <laughs> There's the next problem. When you plant something, we have to roll it. Um, we are expecting weeds this year as well, because we didn't plough it. So we should get weed. I know we've got some weeds already, but it's not many. Go on, tractor. You've got extra wide tyres on. Is the field a bit too wet for you? I, I didn't plan on uh, sowing in the rain. Well, I did, but I didn't plan on doing it quite so soon. I'm hoping it stops by 8 o'clock, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's it's a very half and half episode today, I'm afraid. I might roll these fields off recording. Or the uh, I don't think anyone's going to be that interested in seeing me roll fields again. Like I say, I drive up and down the fields with a roller. What more? What more can I show you guys? We've, we've done it several times now. <coughs> Gives me something to do while the video is exporting. See, I'm blessed because I've got two graphics cards in my PC, so I can export and edit on one while playing video games on the other. It, it makes life so much easier. And yeah, I can't play like Apex because it does kind of like reduce the speed that you get into your graphics card, but something like um, 
I mean, like farm sim just yeah it's fine the joys of having a 3080 and a 3070 in your, in your PC this tractor does not like driving on ploughed or cultivated fields. Like this bit where it's mulched, it's fine. All the power, all the grip in the world. As soon as it hits that darker stuff, it's like I, I can feel it just like ugh. Like it's just a lack of power. It's still raining. This month is done and it's still raining. Well, this field is done, not the month. This field is raining. Oh my god, Matt, get your words right today. Get your words correct. Anyway, as you can see, this field is now seeded. There we go. Correct words. And let's have a look at the weather because this weather is. Ah, it's just. We've got rain until about 9 o'clock. Oh my god, we've got rain until 9 o'clock. That is going to just... Oh, it's just hampering us. Uh, what can we plant today? Oh, canola is the only thing we can plant today. <laughs> Bugger. That is not good. Honestly, it's not good. It is really, really, really not good. Only thing we can plant today is this. Yeah, I expected to plant more actually. Um, although it's not a bad thing because now I can. Uh, what have I got to do now? I'll have to go roll that field. You're going to have to watch me roll this field, then, guys, in this episode. And then I think that would be a good place to be at because I can't do now tells in the rain. I could pick up a little bit of straw. I could. Um, it's not done though. It's a bit of a weird one. <coughs> Just double check the animals. Make sure everything is still uh, hunky dory with those. I hit the wall. I did not mean to hit that wall. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm even more, not like disappointed, like there's not we can do about the weather. It, it's nice to have some rain. We don't tend to get much rain on this map. Considering it's supposedly the UK, and let's be honest guys, if you live in the UK, you already know it rains a lot in the UK. You know it does. If you don't think it does, you're deluded. Um, yeah, this tractor's getting a little bit... How much is this tractor going to be to repair? Uh, oh, 800 pounds. I'll, I'll pay 800 pounds to repair that. It's been a wicked little... Oh, it's not that. That's actually broken. Um, 122. Yeah, there we go. Look, we paid a thousand pound to repair. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, but yeah, I haven't really got anything else I can really do in the rain. Like I said, I can check on the animals, make sure they've got enough feed. Other than that, I can roll. Um, six months. Reproduction is very slow. 60%, 10%. Yeah. 38%, 70%. Chicken pen's full. Still got some food in there. So yeah, 17,000 in there. Yeah, plenty of grass, but we could put more grass in there if we really, really wanted to. Um, Yeah, apart from rolling, guys, the weather has really, really screwed me. Rain, rain, go away. Come back another day. 
I don't know if anyone remembers singing that as a child. Yeah, I don't really know what else I can really get done today. It's it's really, really screwed me over for the um, for the amount of work. It's so much work to do, and now I've got none. If I do this job, what can I do? I could fertilise this field as well. Uh, I could maybe get a cut of fertiliser down here on field 29 before we do out. That's, yeah, so th there are little bits I can do. There are little bits I can do. Um, I do, we're looking at maybe getting the money from the bank. Get a loan out. I know we weren't really going to extend the loan, but I'm going to put a straw building in, I think. I'm going to put a straw production in. Just because I feel like we need... We need something to do with the straw. The problem I'm going to have is deciding where I'm going to put that building. Um, yeah, I really don't know where I can put it. There's just not much green area to uh, to put things on this map. I found that out when I was trying to place production. Like I say, I am going to... I've got this map. If anyone ever wants to play this map with productions already built in, like I say, just let me know and I'll send you my copy. If the creator of the map doesn't like it, I, I sent him a message. I just, I do, you know, and he was like, "Well, I put two productions in it." I'm like, "Yeah, but you already own them. You don't have to buy them. That's not the same." I was like, "And it's no good just having two productions. You need, you need more. You need them all." And all right, I don't quite have them all, but I've got the majority of them. What oh, we've got? We've got grain. We've got the flour mill. Um, we've got the spinnery. We've got the sugar mill. Now the sell points are not on the map. Um, I did bring in a supermarket that buys the majority of them, but yeah, the the majority of them just go there. But like I said, there's plenty of mods out there. My mod, I'm hope my mod is currently in testing. I'm hoping my mod uh, passes the test really, really soon. Like I say, I did everything on the list because, like I said, I put it in first time and realised there was a few errors. And yeah, I got them all fixed and it's in. So yeah, hopefully my mod is uh, pass really, really soon. I always forgot how big this field was to roll. Yeah, I don't I really don't want to skip August with this rain. I don't want to skip it. I might have to, I might have to skip a lot of the weather, but I really don't want to. I'm, I'm trying to do jobs I know I can do. Like I say, I, I could get fertilised, I could put a cut of fertilisation down on this field and 29, so it gives me something else to do in the rain. I, other than that though, I am so, I'm, I'm, I'm trying so hard to think what I can do in the rain. Now, if we had grapes, we'd be laughing. You can harvest grapes in the rain and it does not reduce the yield which I don't see why it would actually because grapes have that little coating on the outside you can get them wet things like that I don't know coating skin whatever you want to call it really holds all the juices inside the grape you can harvest grapes in the rain. 
Again, I don't know if you should do in real life, but I do know on this game, if you harvest grapes in the rain, it does not come up with yield reduction, so, yeah. Come on, tractor. Need more power. Come on. Yeah, it's the only thing I have with this tractor. I just feel like it's just like there do you see how it feels like it just we were driving and then it was like we got bogged down i love the fact that it feels like it gets bogged down on the field i do love it it's just you know i'm trying to get this contract well i'm trying to get this job done as quickly as possible and it's not helping that's for sure there we go £2,000 in the bank. We are running a little bit lower on the money side of things. But, like I said, the grain's all going to be harvested in the next two to three months. We can sell it all in January. We do have a lot of silage to sell. Um, yeah, so it's, it's not the end of the world. It'll be like it was last year. We'll have a big influx of money. We'll spend it all and then we won't be able to afford anything. Like I said, the wool is going off the... Um, it'll be paid off the loan. If we get the straw business, that can be used to pay off the loan as well. Um, just to get the loan out of the way. Like I said, the, the loan payments kill us every month. And if we take out more loan to bring the straw business in it, it really is gonna absolutely just take everything from us but i feel like the straw you know we're, we're gonna have a lot of straw even on contracts we can get the straw and it takes straw bales as well guys so instead of using the um, forage trailer we can use bales and then if we buy a bale trailer, we can move more straw at once. It might be a lot quicker as well. Like at the moment, we just... Our little straw fermenter doesn't take bales at all. Also, I do apologise for this being a longer episode than planned. I did not plan on seeding and rolling a field. Like I said, our roller is really, really small. Um, like I said, I can always roll off screen. If people are like, oh, we don't need to see your roll, I'll be like, that's fair enough, I can do that off, off, off the recordings. But yeah, this this weather's in for at least another another in-game hour anyway, till about 9 o'clock-ish. that bottom bit done in a minute and uh, then we'll come back up here and do this top bit like I said we don't have to come up here with straw anymore so I said we can just grow canola in this field we can grow sorghum in this field we don't have to we don't have to put something with straw in it and like I say running up and down with straw on this field it takes forever to do so it's more just like next harvest season it'll be more a case of just not a case of making it quicker but it because of like how long it takes to drive up and down from this field it does take quite a bit of time 
and when you're doing it with a small quantity of straw in a trailer yeah we, we just plant canola in it and sorghum we just alternate sorghum and canola then uh, yeah it, it, it'll kind of speed the harvest up but we just won't plant canola near the farm you know what I mean or we won't plant sorghum near the farm so you, it's no it's no different than what we're gonna do anyway we're just gonna do it in a slightly different way It takes like a minute to drive up from the farm up to here, each each way. Now that's, and when you're using a very small straw, you know what I mean? We, we wasted at least 10 minutes driving up and down in a video, just getting the straw out of this field. Now if we don't have to do that, it means we can get more done in that episode. And like I said, I don't want to plant the same crop in the same field all the time. So if we, um, If we alternate canola and sorghum up here, brilliant. not quite gonna fit. No, devastating. Right, I think we can kind of do this. Does this work backwards? It does. Oh, well, that's handy to know. There's me just realising that I could uh, put this on the front and put a sm If I had like an 8 metre uh, spreader, you know, for fertiliser, I think this is about 8 metres wide, this uh, this roller. If I had an 8 metre spreader, I could probably roll and fertilise at the same time. But yeah, our plans went out the window today, just taking a couple of different screenshots. I don't know what we're going to use for the thumbnail, you'll, you'll see it before I've even decided. You'll know what it is. Yeah, we've done 88 episodes in this series, guys. Like I said, I know a few of the episodes did get a little bit slow because we'd blow with the time down. And it kind of just hindered the, the thing, the series, quite a bit. That's why we, we upped it and we're not bothered now. We, we play on three minimum. The only time I ever reduce it from that is if I'm doing something off recording, you know. Because it, it doesn't really matter off recording. But if we're on the recording... I don't want to end up doing a job on off recording, for example, you know, finishing a job and it skipping to like a whole day. That'd just be a bit silly. But yeah, we're I've had an absolute blast playing on uh, Somerset. I, it's not going to end anytime soon. I'm really enjoying it. The plan was to try and buy as much of the map as possible. Now we're skipping months a bit quicker. Um, yeah, it's going to be doable. It's going to be doable a lot quicker. I know there are streamers and recorders out there who've made videos and they're like, oh, you know, they can do it a lot quicker than this. Right, you know, there's a series with a few hundred episodes and they've got all the businesses and stuff. But yeah, that's that's all well and good, but they've got more money on them series than they know what to do with. You know, 90 episodes in, and I'm still financially struggling because I'm refusing to make the big bucks on the productions. You know, not every farmer has a production. But I just want to put a little twist on it. Bit. 
and we should be done. Like I say, apart from some fertilising, but I'll, I'll do that in the next episode. Um, I don't want to do everything in the rain now, otherwise I'll have nothing to do in the next episode. Yeah, we, we've, we've got a field. We've got a field in, you know, sown. We've got a crop in the ground. We've got it rolled already. It's not exactly the jobs I wanted to do today, but we, we have managed to do something in the rain. So, yeah, fantastic, I suppose, from that point of view. And, uh, guys, I do massively appreciate everybody watching the videos. Uh, I massively appreciate everybody who drops a like on a video as well, guys. Every single like and every single person who subscribes, I do massively appreciate you all. Um, yeah, like I said, I've said before, if anybody wants to be part of a series, all you've got to do is be in the Discord. The link is always in the description. I kind of have the same description every every video. It just gives you the socials and, and things like that. And, uh, yeah, massively appreciate everybody who does follow the channel as well. Uh, massive shout out to Mr. Cooper who is a Patreon subscriber. He he supports the channel. Just kind of wanted to give him a shout out. He's been a, but he's been a Patreon subscriber since since our early Minecraft days. Early Minecraft days. Uh, just wanted to give him a shout out in the videos. And uh, yeah, guys, massively do appreciate it. And until the next episode, I will see you all later on. Bye for now.